to go sing here again. Um, this time I wanted to move on to our second sax lesson. Um, so hopefully you've had a go at the first sax lesson um, where we're concentrating on playing that B, one finger, and then the A. But we're going to look at um, the next few tunes in Abracadabra. We're going to look at tunes 6, 8, and 12, um, where we're going to use the notes B, A, and G. And we're going to try and read them on the music. So let's just start with playing a B, okay? So after two, on a B, long B. One, two. Now let's try a long A. And now let's try a long G. And to finish our warm up, we'll try and go B, A, G. So get ready after two. One, two. Well, actually, let's try and go G, A, B. Okay, and the last thing we'll do, sorry, I lied. Last thing we'll do is we'll go from B to G. Get used to moving two fingers at the same time, like this. Let's try that. After two, one, two. Good, so hopefully we've got that now. So we're going to go with these tunes. We're going to use the notes B, A, and G. Um, again, pause the video and just try that warm-up exercise. But let me... Uh, Let's bring the music in, and we're going to look at the tune Suigan, which is number six um, on the Abracadabra. Now, if we look, if we look at our sheet music here, hopefully you've got the book, but I've written it out for you. And we're going to start with the note G on that second line. G. And if we look across, there's another G there, and in the third bar, there's a G. And see if you can spot the G in the fourth bar. It's that last note, G. Now let's see if we can spot the A's. In that second space, A there, one, another A, 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 A. And then finally on that third line that we've already covered, the B. How many B's are there? I can see three. One, two, three. So if we read the notes, we're going to go G, A, B, A, G, a, G, A, B, A, B, G. Okay, so let's see if we can play that. I count four, we're going to start with that G, three fingers, okay? One, two, three, four. <laughs> We'll try it again a little bit slower. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four. <laughs> It's a great tune getting us moving around that G, A and B. I've done a little backing. Um, we'll just do it with the piano. Okay, so we'll try it after four. Oh. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four. Apologise, that was a bit slow, a little bit slow. I tell you what, let's make it a bit more fun. See if we can do this. Okay, we'll try that again. Uh, one, three. Nice.
let's have a look at the next tune, Uclair de la Lune. Um, it's number eight on your abracadabra. Um, let's read the notes now, see if we can read them all the way through. So we're going to go G, 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 A, B, A, G, B, A, A, G. And there's that long G at the end with no stick. That is four beats long, okay? Um, so just have a go at that slowly together, okay? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Try that a few times. Just practice going from that G, B. That's tricky. Going from the G three fingers up to the B. G, B, A, A, G. Hope you can see that. So the G to one. Three fingers to one. Good practice. Okay. But again, let's see if we can do it together a little bit quicker. One. Two, three, four. <laughs> Good. Hopefully you've got that. Um, give those both those tunes a go. But we're going to move on now to the tune number 12 in your abracadabra, which is cool, which I really like. Um, take a break from playing for a second. And I'll just play it to you. Um. Here we go. So just have a look at that tune for a second. Um, just put it in the middle there. And just give yourself a minute and see if you can read out the notes. Oh, sorry. Sorry, let's try that again. Let's read out those notes. So we're going to go B, B, A, G, A, G, G, A, B. Rest, rest, G, G, A, B, A, B, B, A, G, rest, rest. Those two little blocks at the end of each line are two beat rests. Okay, so <clears throat> let's try with a beat. So we'll go, we'll go nice and slow. Hopefully you've got your music there. But if not, you can follow the um, follow the screen, and we'll have a go at call together, nice and slow. Here we go. Get ready with that B. tune um, you can practice that all three as quick as you like um, cool's nice so we got that one beat followed by the two beats one two one two two um, try and get that kind of swing rhythm let's try it one more time together and um, if you need to again pause the video and get yourself more up to speed because I'm going to speed it up just a little bit okay guys two three Now 
going to do it one more time, but I'm not going to play, okay? So you guys just play along. So we'll count four and then you're in, okay? So get ready with that B for cool. One, two, three, go! helpful um, again you can spend a week on those three tunes just getting them really good keeping those cheeks in lip under using your tongue all the way through as best you can saying t don't worry if you can't use your tongue but just work towards trying to go t -t -t. Um, and again go back to sax lesson one and two and you can do both um, alternate days or something like that and just get really good at those three notes G A and B Okay, guys, hope that works for you. Thanks very much. Bye.